evening, the family of a man attacked in the riots who died of his injuries say they're proud he stood up for himself and his community. Richard Bowes was attacked in the West London district of Ealing on Monday night. Mr Bowes' sister Anne told ITV News she was saddened by what had happened and couldn't understand why rioters had acted in the way they had. Our correspondent Emma Murphy spoke to Anne and her husband about their loss. Amid the flames and debris from a night of violence, Richard Bowes is tended to by police and a neighbour. He'd been attacked as he tried to put out fires near his Ealing home. That community-spirited attitude has now cost the 68-year-old his life. He died last night as a result of extensive head injuries. Just hours earlier, his sister and brother-in-law had been taken to his bedside after police were finally able to identify the unknown patient who had been brought in from the streets without anything to identify him. We obviously saw, when we, when we saw him, that um, he wouldn't be able to live for very long because of his, um, you know, he wasn't, he was very, obviously very ill. So um, we were just glad to be there um, and it was just sad that we couldn't really make more communication with him before he died. And how do you feel towards those who did this? I feel sad that, that, that all these writers haven't found another purpose in life rather than just destructive violence. As committed Christians, Anne and Michael had prayed with the hospital chaplain in the hours before Richard Bowes' death as they tried to understand the events of the past week. Michael, what do you feel about this situation? Well, I feel angry at their actions but I feel compassion about the not their reasons for doing it, but the fact that they felt compelled to act in this way. But I think we both feel very proud of Richard in being prepared to stand up for the right in that situation, even though it cost him his life. There is similar pride in Ealing where Richard Bowes was attacked. A respect for a man who tried to stand against Monday night's lawlessness. When Richard Bowes was attacked, there were hundreds of people here filming the violence on their mobile phones. Police say that footage is now crucial to their investigation as they continue to question a 22-year-old man on suspicion of murder. Just a short distance from where he was set upon, the flag above Ealing's town hall now flies at half-mast in honour of Richard Bowes and the principles he stood for. Emma Murphy, ITV News, Ealing. Relations between the police and senior politicians came...